Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon from Lifestyle Integration, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a 2016 article entitled Infrared in Skin, Friend or Foe, that I found in the Journal of Photochemistry and Photobiology. This article amazed me as to how powerful infrared is and how incredibly complex our natural body systems are to handle things like infrared and ultraviolet. It discusses a thing called preconditioning. And preconditioning is where the skin is preconditioned by infrared to better be able to handle the damaging ultraviolet rays that come on in the afternoon. Let's take a look at some of the findings that this study had. What you're looking at here is an actual image taken from the study. And on the far right in the control column, you can see that the skin was exposed to just ultraviolet radiation, hence the sunburn and the damage. When you look on the far left of the image, where you see the frequencies of light that the skin was pre-exposed to, the infrared range is the 970 and the 870. So what that means is that the skin in this study was pre-exposed to the near infrared. And when it was pre-exposed to the infrared, you can see here that the damage from the ultraviolet later on was minimal, meaning that the near infrared had a protective function to prevent the skin from burning when it was exposed to the ultraviolet radiation. This is significant. The infrared is actually functioning like a sunscreen, and the paper says it is acting like an SBF 15 sunscreen to prevent damage from ultraviolet radiation. This image is showing the ratio of ultraviolet to near infrared. The lower this ratio, the better the higher, the more harmful the ultraviolet damage is going to be. So what we can see is this ratio is at its lowest in the morning with the preconditioning, but it's also low in the late afternoon with a repair stage. And what the study concludes is that we're meant to be exposed to this near infrared early in the morning to precondition our skin to deal with the ultraviolet. And even if there is damage from the ultraviolet, there's another system built in at the tail end of the day where the near infrared can actually help to repair any of the potential damage that the ultraviolet has caused. I believe the implications of this are very, very significant when it comes to our health and our well-being. Nature knows best. We're designed to be part of nature, not separate from nature, and infrared, and in this situation, in this study, near infrared, has a very significant role to play in protecting us from the damaging ultraviolet rays of the sun. Perhaps this is part of the reason why we're seeing such a rise in things like skin cancer because we're not getting out in nature and exposing ourselves to the infrared regularly. Perhaps, and more research would need to be done, near infrared saunas can play a role here. Regardless, until this information is actually found through some sort of clinical study, I would suggest that every single household would benefit from the use of a near-infrared sauna in their homes. Until next time, keep well and remember things don't change, we do.